Hi, this is DJ. We're here to uh, go over loading plugs. Uh, today we're going to go over loading the Super Strike needle. We're going to get right into it. So what we have is uh, we have a nice supply of uh, number eight lead shot. We have epoxy, a couple little mixing caps, uh, one Sam Adams, one uh, Rolling Rock. Uh, we're going to start by which is what we do with all our new plugs. Just cut off the hooks. Get that guy out of there. This guy out of there. And then we got down to the simple, uh, the plain super strike. We're going to drill two holes in this one. The first one's going to be roughly half inch in front of the, the front hook and the other one's going to be roughly an inch and a quarter off the back of the lure. I like to use a, a inch and an eighth to uh, three thirty seconds is also good. So here we're going to come in inch or so there. That was easy. Clean out your little hole there. I'm going to do the other one roughly about an inch and a quarter in front of the back of the lure, which should be about here. There, that was easy. Okay. Now, what we will do is take some shot, a little bit of shot in there, and then we'll load the plug. I'm going to fill the sucker all the way up. Periodic shakes will help. Get that down to where you want it. I call it shake it down a little. Get some more in here. Again, shake it down. Yes, you will lose a couple shots here and there, no big deal. The other thing is remember that it's lead when you're done working with it, you have to wash your hands very good. What you want to do is while you're, so this doesn't roll over and all your shot dump out, I'm going to just grab a piece of tape, just smack it on that front hole just to keep your shot checked so it doesn't roll. Then we're going to hit the back chamber, which is your big chamber. So this one, to get to the vise, I'm going to pitch it to the front a little bit, and we're going to load the sucker up. Uh, ready? Now I want to periodically check here and scale, see what we got. Uh, without the hooks, I want to get up to around um, two five. Okay. Okay. Now we're ready for the epoxy. So we got the two parts. We want to mix them here and get it out of the tube here. We'll leave it a little drop. Oop. Don't need too much. A little bit here. A little bit, that's perfect. Okay. And I want to mix it. Mix it all up nice. Now what I like to do sometimes if it's you know to help it set up a little quicker, just wait a, you know, wait a couple seconds, wait thirty seconds or a minute, let it get a little tacky. I have drilled these holes small enough where I can use fairly good epoxy. That's the advantage of a small hole. If you go with the bigger holes, then you need to to let your epoxy set up a little bit more before you stick it in there so it doesn't fall into the hole. See what I like to do is I like to mound it a little bit just like that and let it set up for a little bit. Alright and then what I'm going to do is as the epoxy is drying up I'll take a little piece of cardboard and just pull it over. Make sure that's nice and clean. I'm not terribly worried about the how it looks as long as it's sealed tight. It's best to go both ways across it Make sure that hole's filled completely. There you go, perfect. Wipe off a little excess. 
and we're almost home. All right, and then when you're done, you have the hooks back on. Again, a 3-0 with, a, I got a Wolverine triple split on the front of this one, uh, and a nice dress side wash in the back, matching color, you know, and I'm ready to go with a loaded Super Strike needle.